Hello my dear students how are you all I hope you all are fine so as you can see on the screen I have written leaf all of you have seen leaves yes all of you have seen leaves okay now first of all I would like to ask one question from you do you like to eat fruits and vegetables yes everybody likes to eat fruits and vegetables so do you know from where do they come okay so we get fruits and vegetables from plants and all animals all animals including human beings directly or indirectly depend on plants for their food for example let's see this deer is an animal which eats plants deer eats plants and lion eats deer so in this way lion directly do not depend on plants but indirectly lion also depend on plants indirectly lion also get its food from plants because lion eat deer as its food and deer eat plants as its food so we use many plant products for example we eat fruits we eat vegetables we get rubber from the plants we get medicines from the plants so we use many plants and many plant products for our everyday needs and do you know where food is made in plants how plants prepare their own food so it is the leaf in the plant that makes food in the plant it is this leaf of the plant which makes its food with the help of which plants makes their own food so let's discuss leaves in more detail now so most plants are green in color most plants are green in color as you can see on the screen i have taken two leaves which are green in color so different plants have different types of leaves the leaves of all plants are not of same shape same size they are different in shape and size like you can see two leaves and now here also you can see two leaves they have different shape and sizes and in this way see the color of the leaf may also be different it is not compulsory that always the color of the leaf will be green it can be different also like here you can see one leaf which is violet or purple in color and we can identify the plants by looking at its leaf leaves help us to identify a particular plant we can identify a plant whether it is of banana coconut its neem tree or its banyan tree or its mulberry tree like here i have taken two leaves this leaf is of mulberry and this leaf is of banyan tree okay so banyan tree is also the national tree of india national tree of india our national tree is banyan tree so in this way we can identify the plants by looking at their leaves so now let's come to the next point all leaves are not green in color but which are green in color do you know why they are green in color the leaves which are green in something should be present in them na which makes them green so what is that substance which makes them green okay let's know about it it's chlorophyll the substance which makes the leaves green is chlorophyll mm, for example let's take an example of uh, rice your mother cooks rice at home rice are originally white in color but sometime your mother add turmeric you know turmeric haldi we can say your mother add turmeric powder in the leaf in the rice to make them appear yellow in color so turmeric makes the rice yellow in the same way 
chlorophyll is the substance which is present in the leaves and which makes the leaves appear green in color and chlorophyll helps the leaf in making its food also in presence of air in presence of light and in presence of water so in the presence of these things chlorophyll help plant to prepare its own food and how plants prepare their own food that we will discuss in next topic so we can say that leaves are food factory of the plant yes we can say this because leaves prepare the food so we can say that leaves are food factory of plants students i hope you are getting my points now next thing which we are going to discuss is parts of a leaf you would have read about parts of a leaf in your last grade also in third class also what do we call the main line running through the mid middle of the leaf okay this is a leaf i repeat my question you can see this main line which is running through the middle of the leaf what do we call this okay if you don't know if you know it's very good but if you don't know let me tell you it's called mid rib what do we call this mid rib let me tell you mid rib so this is the name of this middle line which is running through the middle of the leaf now let's discuss some more parts of the leaf so this line you know that this line is known as mid rib and you can see many more lines running through this mid line you can see these lines so these lines are known as veins what do we call these lines veins v e i n s we call these lines veins okay and this part from where the leaf is attached to the plant to the branch of the plant is known as leaf base what do we call this leaf base and this portion of the leaf is known as petiole what do we call this petiole so next point is this green portion of the leaf this one this green portion of the leaf is called leaf blade or lamina we call it leaf blade or lamina i will clear you the spellings again l a m i n a lamina okay so these are some of the portions which are present on the leaf and this boundary of the leaf this one this is known as margin what do we call it margin okay and this point tip of the leaf is called leaf tip okay let's see it one more slide see you can see two leaves on this slide now margin of this leaf is smooth but margin of this leaf is toothed like this what we say it toothed okay and margin of this leaf is smooth and tip of this leaf is pointed but tip of this leaf is somewhat rounded okay so we can see that leaves are different in shapes and sizes and all leaves have veins also this leaf is rounded in shape this is also green so these are some of the features this leaf has veins like this you can see if observe the leaf carefully this leaf also has veins which are running through the leaf like this in this way okay now let's move parts of a leaf we were discussing that these are a few parts of the leaf now let's start discussing let's draw the leaf okay Mm. 
let's see in this video i have inverted the leaf and on the under side of the leaf a few small pores are there which we cannot see with our naked eyes we will be needing microscope to see them on this under side of the leaf there are many few small pores holes we can say are present which help the plant in breathing and we call them stomata so this is the uh, under side of the leaf and these parts we cannot see okay so now next point is what let's draw a leaf so for drawing a leaf firstly we will make the margin and the petiole and then we will draw the leaf like this and then we can make the veins in the leaf you can make the veins like this in this way so these are the veins and now you can simply label the leaf this one is leaf base and then this is petiole and then these this is the main midrib these are known as the veins these points this one is leaf base this is petiole margin okay leaf tip midrib veins and this is lamina or leaf blade and on the under side of the leaf are present stomata which we cannot see with naked eyes we will need microscope to see that okay now let's i have put one diagram also you can see with the help of this diagram so now at the end of the video i hope parts of a leaf are clear to you stomata are the small pores again i want to clear you here you can see carbon dioxide which plants need to prepare their food enters through this hole and oxygen which is produced by the leaves comes out oxygen is given off from the stomata during the process of food making oxygen come out and carbon dioxide enters the leaf through this hole through these small pores and these small pores are known as stomata okay my dear students so parts of a leaf and their functions are clear to you one more thing i want to add veins what is the function of veins so veins help in transporting water through the leaves water and minerals food they help to carry these things in the leaves so at the end i would like to give you the homework now homework is draw a leaf label its parts and color the leaf also and after doing this you will send me your homework on my whatsapp number draw your work neatly beautifully and enjoy your work take it interest see the video again and again till you understand the concept completely and if you have any query you can contact me thank you my dear students that's all for today